This video was filmed before COVID-19 became a pandemic and social distancing was a thing. Right now, we are not traveling and following the current government guidelines for self-isolating at our home in Western New York. We're here in Bradington, Florida, and we're staying at the Hung Sadler KOA, and we want to show you around. So come on. So this would be a fun place to come for a family vacation. Yeah, it would be. And with the KOA, it just is so much better. But if, even if you don't have an RV to camp at the KOA, it would be a fun place to spend the day. And uh, I think probably younger kids would enjoy it. Um, the, they do have some barn animals here and, um, you know, places to eat. And, uh, and they have camping cabins and uh, they have like silo buildings and such that you can you could camp out in so if you don't have an RV you could definitely have a place to stay you can even come here and stay in a tent yeah that's true so there's lots of options Yeah, it is kind of neat, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, they look like they've put a lot of thought into everything they've done here. Yeah. You think this was here before, before the King Kong was said, Kong said, or we came away? Yeah, I think this was probably one of those uh, farm markets type of place, you know, kind of a destination place that you would go to. Yeah. And then, uh, they decided to add the campground to it, so mm -hmm. you know they've had the, they had the train. They probably had the uh, you know the buildings. Probably had the buildings and yeah. all of that. Yep. You know you, this is where you'd come with the family to pick up pumpkins or in the fall or whatever. You know. Mm -hmm. And now it's uh, a campground too. Right. And they have a little farm market up there, and they do have some produce in there today. They have tomatoes and a lot of peppers. Corn, squash, pineapples. Good pineapples. Wow. Did they have strawberries? They had tomatoes. Yeah, I didn't see any strawberries. Uh, well, the campground's pretty nice. It's pretty new. The sites are reasonably good size for a KLA. Mm -hmm. Not like some where they're just you know, paved to the next site practically. Right. Got a lot of area to it. Yeah. We have a nice laundry. So we did laundry this morning. Yep. Got that done before we head home, which we are tomorrow. Yeah. Unfortunately. But. Yeah, so the, we paid $60, $67 a night, I think it was. Maybe, well, with, with, the, with the discount, it was probably a little bit less than that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think it worked out to be 50 something, maybe $58 per night with the discount. So. It is a little on the more expensive side. You ready to move on? All right. So this is the restroom laundry area. So here they have unisex restrooms. Big shower, bench, you know, basically you have this room to yourself. This is the laundry area. So this 
this is a campground laundry. Very nice. Three machines of each. We stayed here a couple days. It's a nice area and a very nice park. The KOA is fairly new, but they do have quite a number of sites. They have some in the shade and some in the sunshine. Right. So. Yeah, it's a it's a real nice KOA, and I think what's unique about it is that it was probably a farmer's market or a, a farm market before it was a KOA, and they expanded and made the KOA of it. And, and there's a lot of things here that, you know, you can come and bring your family to do. I mean, there's a petting zoo, there's an ice cream place, you know, there's a lot of, a lot of activities for families while you're here. Um, probably the only thing they're missing, and I'm sure they've got that in their plans, is a swimming pool. Right, yeah. right. Kind of surprising in Florida not to have a swimming pool at a campground, but, you know, I'm sure they'll have something coming in the future. Right, and they also have a giant dog park. Yeah, they have one of the largest dog parks I think we've ever seen. Right. And Monty made a new friend there. He was a quite a happy little dog. Yep. Well, if you enjoyed this video, please give us a thumbs up. And what should they do? Subscribe to our channel. That's right. And make sure to click the bell so that you get notifications when we post new videos. We post new videos on a weekly basis, so we'd love to have you come along for the journey. And until the next time. We will see you down the road, hopefully. Bye.